Hey there guys, today we're doing a memory comparison of Rise of the Tomb Raider running on the AMD Ryzen 5 5500U. Now we're going to be taking a look at the game running with 8GB of RAM, 12GB of RAM, and 16GB of RAM. We do have the game running right now with the lowest in-game graphics settings, and we are at the stock 15 watt TDP right now. And you can see that the game with DirectX 12 and DirectX 12, I let the benchmark run a few times on each different configuration just to make sure that all shaders are cached and everything is perfectly fine. Now the findings that I actually ended up getting while doing all this were really interesting. What I found is that the results were around the same for the 8 gigabytes and 12 gigabytes, while 16 gigabytes of RAM does take a very small lead, but the 1% lows are around the same range, so effectively there is really no difference in performance amongst all three of these at the stock 15 watt TDP. Now we can try to raise the TDP to see if that actually brings out any differences between all of these configurations. Also keep in mind that with the 12 gigabyte configuration, it is 8 plus four gigabytes. So because there is a mismatch in capacities, there is a portion of the memory that is going to run at single channel. But let's see if that actually affects anything in the actual game. Now, if we move over to 25 watts of TDP, you can start to see that there are some differences starting to become very apparent amongst all of the different configurations. It really seems like 8 and 12 gigabytes are around the same level of performance, and it's 16 gigabytes that finally starts to pull a lead, though it's not as great when you look at the 1% lows. Still, those averages do get a nice bump going up from 30 to 38. So it is a pretty noticeable improvement, but overall, the results between 8 gigabytes and 12 gigabytes is around the same. You'll see amongst the runs that both of them will occasionally have these major drops in 1% lows, but they will end up recovering. And overall, by the end of the test, they do end up at around the same range for 1% lows. But it's clear that if you really actually want to play this game and you want to get an above 30 FPS gaming experience that is going to be just noticeably better than the other configurations, you need 16 gigabytes of RAM. Now, of course, if you start pumping a full 30 watts of power into these systems, we can finally start to see this different configuration RAM actually start to show some pretty major differences. 8 gigabytes of RAM and 12 gigabytes of RAM are still around a similar range to each other, though there is now a gap between them. And it really seems like with each step in terms of RAM, we do get a little bump in performance, though between 12 gigabytes and 16 gigabytes, the 1% lows really end up kind of hitting a wall there. But our FPS average with 16 gigabytes is almost at 4 40 this time, which means that you're going to have a lot of headroom if you're actually trying to play this with a 30 FPS lock, you'll be confident in knowing that you will pretty much very rarely ever go below that 30 FPS. Now the game is certainly doable with 8 gigabytes of RAM or 12 gigabytes of RAM, just expect more frequent stutters, but in general the results between all of them are close enough amongst each other that it wouldn't be game breaking if you were trying to play with 8 gigabytes of RAM versus 12 versus 16. That being said, if you can not upgrade to 16 or to 12, I recommend doing it as soon as possible. But anyways, I will catch you guys in the next one.